Hi friends, welcome back to Little Blessed Nest. My name is Stephanie. If you're new here, this video is starting off a little different than normal. If you're here for the thrift shopping, you can skip ahead to 9 minutes and 44 seconds. That's where the thrift shopping starts. Hey guys, so it is Friday morning. I just dropped Timmy off at dialysis. He's got surgery today, so they changed his dialysis schedule today. Um, he had to be there at 445. Um, it's about 5.30 now. I decided to come home see if I can get a few more hours of sleep uh, before I have to pick him up at 8. They're taking him off a little early today because we have to drive to Nashville by 10 o'clock um, for his surgery. I think they're going to do surgery around noon. And we are just hoping, praying that he will be successful and he'll be able to see out of his left eye again. Sorry if this is a glare. Um... Right now, out of his left eye, he can't see anything except for like like blurry white and blurriness. He said it's like looking through a really thick plastic. Um, he can't make anything out but shadow. Like you can do your hand like this and he can tell you the mo He can see a motion, but he couldn't tell you like how many fingers or anything like that, even if you put it up really close. So um, the doctor's very hopeful that once he goes in and cleans the blood out from behind his eye that he'll be able to see again so that's what we're hoping for we'll see you guys will see this on sunday he's got a follow-up appointment saturday morning which is tomorrow morning um at eight o'clock in nashville so it's gonna be a busy couple days um but hopefully by sunday maybe we'll have some good news i hope all right guys so we're gonna go pick timmy up I got to sleep about an hour and a half, so let's go, let's go pick him up. <laughs> Are you nervous? Nervous as a cat. Nervous as a cat? Ner yeah. So, we believe in after this surgery, you're going to be able to see all that out. Amen. 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 And prayed my wife gets me something to eat on the way out. This book is hard to do. Army matey. <laughs> How was it? We're going to batten down the hatches. <laughs> yeah. well, fair to middle. <laughs> no you you couldn't feel anything, right? No, no. But Worst part about it was having that little drape over your face. Mm, they covered your face. Yeah. And you had a hard time laying still. Yeah, yeah, I had a real hard time laying still. Pump because you got neuropathy in your legs. Ten four. Ten four. It was weird though. It, you know, you close your eyes and you can kind of almost still see shapes and stuff. Yeah. I could see them see scraping that or something. Oh. <laughs> That was disturbing, huh? He had asked me on the way over here, could we go to Cracker Barrel? Cracker Barrel afterwards. I was like, are you sure you want to go to Cracker Barrel with this big bandage over your eye? He said, I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah, they so, like they don't like it, they ain't got to look at it. Y'all see it? Anybody see this at Cracker Barrel? You'll see a Cyclops. <laughs> he said, pay no mind to the Cyclops. <laughs> <laughs> we took all ourselves to death. <laughs> I thank the good Lord for bringing me through it. Y'all, this clown's seriously going to make me take him in Cracker Barrel with this eye patch on. <laughs> I can't believe you're going in here like that. <laughs> hey, when great food calls you, you've got to answer. <laughs> Friends, I have a new image today. <laughs> I'm a one-eyed, one-horned, fine, purple people leader. One-eyed, one fine, purple people leader. I ain't got one eye. Money, I get to go first? Yep. And I've got me down right now. Right here, my friend. Okay. Now, what do you want? That is not a straight jump. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Riley's 
supposed to be able to jump too somehow. <laughs> That white cat? Yeah. That's Snowball. I know, but I want to keep him for just one night. You want to keep her for just one night? Yeah. Snowball? Yeah. If she goes to your house, she won't want to come back. <laughs> She'd like it there, but she don't well, want to Well, your back. doggie's going to try to get a hold of her. Well, I can keep her in my house. You, you think Mama's going to do that? I guess. No, I don't think mm. she will. I don't think she will. <laughs> <laughs> What you been doing? Huh? Did you miss me? I missed you. I missed you too. Yes, I did. I miss you so much. That's a good girl. You want a treat? Huh? Do you want your treat? I got one. You want it? You want it? Huh? You want it? You ready? One, two, three. Go ahead. <laughs> Alright, we're off for the follow-up appointment. Oh, are, you, are you ready? Ready, Freddy. Get that bandage off. You're glad to become back into the human race and get out of the cyclops race. I got a cyclops. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How is it? Very good. You so can see out of the left. A little blurry. But How many see? fingers? Two. How many fingers? Right. How many fingers? Right. Yay! Right. Amen. There's a little <laughs> now I see how pretty I am again. You can see how pretty you are. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we just left the doctor's office. Everything's looking good. He said it should be able to see even better than he's seeing now um, once the swelling goes down. We decided to stop for breakfast while we were in Nashville. This place is located in Hillsboro Village. It's called Ruby Sunshine, and it's a New Orleans inspired restaurant. Yeah, I love it. Oh, okay. You wanna try that? No? <laughs> Can you see that menu better? Yeah. yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Good? Yeah. <laughs> when I went to New Orleans with my friends, I wanted to bring Timmy back something from New Orleans and he liked hot sauce. So I brought him back a Louisiana hot sauce, not realizing that you can get them about anywhere. I thought it was really special. We got a good laugh out of that. <laughs> got to run in Aldi and pick up some pecans because my mom wants me to make that caramel apple pecan cake. <laughs> I don't know what you call it. Um, I made it before back in the fall on my channel for you guys to watch, but I'm gonna run in here and get those pecans for her. No pecans. Womp, womp, womp. So that means I'm gonna have to go to Walmart. I loathe Walmart. <laughs> All right, do what you gotta do for your mama on Mother's Day though, right? Still asleep. I just spied a Goodwill as we were going through this town. We never come to this town. Um, so I'm gonna run in here and see if they have anything to me sleeping anyway. So why not? I love new Goodwills. This Goodwill is a lot bigger than the one we have in Hopkinsville. They have a whole lot more um, clothes, especially most of this store is clothes. Um, the back half of it has um, some furniture, um, like blankets, sheets, things like that. And then they have a section of 
houseware, decor, dishes, all that good stuff. I don't know what happened on some of these aisles because it's just stuff thrown on these shelves just any which way. There's no organization whatsoever. All the aisles weren't this way. It was just a few of them, so I'm not sure. I don't know, but it was very difficult to look through and find anything. This aisle was a lot better. I didn't find much here. Um, the dish aisle was very much more organized. They had a lot of things like kind of taped together that went together, which I thought was good. They don't do that at my Goodwill. They'll have like the same set of dishes scattered throughout um, an aisle. So I liked how they grouped them together and taped them together so that they um, it wasn't hard to find matching items. This huge basket was only five bucks. That was a really good deal. I thought about it. You guys are always telling me that I need a basket for Irvin, so I thought this would be a perfect basket for him. So I put it in my cart and carried it around for a while, trying to decide whether or not I wanted to buy it. Um, they have quite a few baskets. This cabinet could be a really good deal like you could paint this and use it for a pantry in your kitchen if you had room for it or for linens for 20 it was only 20 bucks so that could be a really good deal change out the knobs on it and paint it this is the same cabinet only it didn't have the door on the top of it and then I saw this shelf um, it was only eight dollars and doesn't it kind of look like the shelf that I built for my like Roland pantry? You could use that for that and it's only eight bucks. I like the color of this throw blanket, but then I saw that it was all unrivaled here on the end. Would have been pretty for Christmas. I just quickly looked through these comforters because I don't need one. I recently bought one, but I thought I didn't look at the price on all of them, but I did look at this one white one here. I had a pretty design on it. Um, but it was like $30. I thought that was pretty pricey for a used comforter at Goodwill. This pillow looked like it was brand new. Anytime I buy used pillows, I only buy ones that have the cover on them that you can unzip and take off and wash. This was a pretty good quality pillow. It had a very nice insert in it. I'd say it was well worth $4. They had tons of picture frames. If you were looking to make a gallery wall or something like that, you could always pick up a bunch of different ones and then spray paint them all to match. Looks like they were anywhere from $1.99 to $2.99 for these smaller ones. And then they also had bigger sizes, had more some that were more decorative, more substantial. This gold one kind of stuck out to me a little. 
I have a pitcher and a candle at home that's pretty similar to this. And it's three bucks and it's from the Threshold brand. So I'm going to pick this up. I like this little planter. It had a nice little shape to it. I think it was five dollars. Yeah. Um, I didn't end up picking it up though, but I really thought it was cute. They had a lot of glassware, like vases and things like that. And then just a whole lot of odd and end type things. Knickknacks, I guess you would call them. I found one of these older storage jars that I like to pick up. And it was $2, so I totally would have bought this. But it didn't have the little ring around it that seals it. So I decided to put it back. I liked this little basket. I thought it was pretty. It was $3, which wasn't a bad price for it. Um, it had some interesting little handles on the side. I hadn't really seen one like that, I don't think. I'm just not quite sure where I would put it or what I could use it for. I've learned to ask myself that question before I buy it. What will I do with it? I really debated on that big basket, but I know you guys want me to get one for Irvin, but I have no floor space for a big another big basket I just don't so I'm not gonna get it even though it's a really good price for it I just have nowhere to put it this is a cute little pot I don't know if it's a flower pot or what it's supposed to be used for but I thought it was pretty I spotted some white dishes you can't really tell it on camera but these were false graph plates but they weren't all false graph. I believe just the top two were. And then they had a couple more that were kind of um, scalloped around the edges. But for the most part, they were just plain like saucers with just a little brown rim on them. Um, and you had to buy the whole box as a set. And I didn't really want all of them. And I didn't want to buy it just for the two false graph ones on top. So I decided to pass up on this one. All right, I've got a few things. I'm gonna go check out and hope that this chair will fit in the back seat of my car. If not, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I think it will though. I think I think it'll fit. Moment of truth. <sighs> Timmy's still asleep. take this um, buggy back up there and I'll be right back all right so we got the um, chair in the car and I now understand why all of you guys are always talking about how nice and neat my Goodwill is that I go to regularly after going to this one <laughs> because some of it was not was neat and organized but the aisles where they had the home decor on were just a disaster it was just especially like the just random stuff the like plates and dishes and things were pretty well organized but the other ones were just it looks like they just threw it on the shelf and just stacked everything on top of each other so I didn't find anything on those shelves but I'll give a little haul I only got three things and you know the biggest one well you probably know them all because I've showed it <laughs> so I was kidding it anyway Timmy still asleep yes oh. <laughs> He scared me. <laughs> you ready to go? Ready to We're go. having a cookout this afternoon. My brother is grilling for Mother's Day mm -hmm. at like 4 o'clock and it's already 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. We're like 45 minutes from home. So and I have to stop at Walmart still and get the pecans. You guys say pecans or pecans? Pecans. I cannot say pecan. I cannot say pecans. It is pecans. I'll say it just because it sounds Pecans. Does, it, does, it, does anybody say pecans? Never heard that before. Never heard that one. It's pecans or pecans. Pecans. 
I just don't know why people would say pecans because it's not P E A C A N, it's P E PE. So, where does the pecan come from? I don't know. My brain is going again. All right, here we go. Off we go. I stopped at the flower shop um, after, well, not like a flower shop, like a nursery. <laughs> on the way home and picked my mom up some flowers to put in her window boxes. She has hers on her front porch though instead of in her window, but they're the same ones that I used to have on the front of mine um, before they got damaged from the tornado. But anyway, she likes to put geraniums. She likes red geraniums in hers. I picked these up for her for Mother's Day. They're very pretty. I got her two to go in each one and I also picked up these Super Tunias because these will kind of spill over the side of it. I think that'll be really pretty. She likes red and white flowers. So I'm gonna take those down there to her. We got these for Timmy's aunt to give to her for Mother's Day. She's kind of like a mom to him. I thought they were really pretty. It has like a light pink and then a darker pink. These are Americana White Splash geraniums. I don't think I'd ever seen any quite this color, but they're very pretty. And then I got these super tunias to go on my porch. Have a like a pail. I'll show you. I'm gonna clean this out and put them in here. I think that'll be pretty. And then I'll have this. This grows everywhere once you plant it, but it'll like come down over the top. Actually, I got a sweet potato vine also that I think I'm gonna put right here. I took these flowers down mom's and just stuck them in her little planter so she could see them when she walked out on the porch. I didn't plant them because she needs some more pot and soil and I didn't have any at the moment. But I think they're going to look really pretty, especially once these super tunias grow more. She's busy at the moment giving the babies a bath, but I'm going to have her come out here and surprise her with them. I'm sure she will love them. You doing little girl? Hmm, what are you doing? That's so sweet. It's so sweet. They've ran a path around the house. Huh. Did you get locked out? Come on. We've got somebody here waiting for breakfast this morning. <laughs> She's hungry. Hey, watch your head. You gotta move your head. What are we singing today, Timmy? I'm gonna do one of my favorite Mother's Day songs, an answered prayer. As a child I thought mom could walk on the water Others had their heroes, she was mine She never traveled far or gained much world beyond her But she could reach the throne of God any time. Lord, would you tell Mama that tonight her prayers were answered? When the angels were rejoicing, it was for From the past of sin, my soul has been delivered. Please tell Mama by her prayers I now am free. Passing day, she prayed for 
friends my favorite song about mama and I hope it's yours too because I'm waiting one day and I know you can too when we get to heaven we'll be reunited amen with our mothers and we will never miss them again if you haven't made preparations then the Bible says today is the day of salvation we're not promised tomorrow so I hope you make that important decision for yourself and we also want to say happy Mother's Day to the ladies, all the ladies, because even if you're not a biological mother, I, I'm sure you probably mothered somebody <laughs> at one time and took care of them. So God bless you as well. Just wanted to give you a special, special Mother's Day treat. What better gift is there on Mother's Day <laughs> than the example? We hope you all are having a wonderful Mother's Day. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you.